Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a Ipsy Plus Glam Bag unboxing for you guys. Um, I actually just got home and when I was out and about, it poured down rain and I just, my heart crushed a little bit because I knew Ipsy was supposed to be coming today. Um, but it didn't last that long. So I was like, okay, maybe it'll be all right. So I get to the front door and as you can see, my box is soaking wet. So when I got home, they didn't even set it like this. So maybe the rain would go on the outside. They actually sat it upside down and all the rain was going in. I was so mad. So I haven't peeked in here. Um, this is no longer sticky. So that is why that is not sticking. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into it. Hopefully nothing is ruined because that will break my heart. I have loved every single, it is so dirty. <laughs> I have loved every single Ipsy uh, Glam Bag Plus that I've gotten. So I don't see why this one should be any different. Um, so open it up and okay, it looks like nothing is messed up. So <sighs> that's good. <laughs> Thank goodness. So I'm going to set this down and we'll go one by one all right so the little card that is in here it says august 2019 bear yourself celebrate all of you play up a signature look create the unexpected let the natural beauty shine your glam bag plus picks will help highlight the beautiful things that make you unique i like that um as you can see today i'm not even wearing a super glam look i'm just doing something very uh subtle very soft because i am testing out the new anastasia beverly hills foundation i actually have that on so the very first item i see is from pure Lease. this is the blue lotus daily moisturizer with sunscreen that is so awesome you definitely need sunscreen to help take care of your face and protect you from those uv rays um, so it's so supposed to protect and moisturize and absorbs easily with no white tint preps makeup for skin. This is for normal, dry, and even sensitive skin. I like the fact that they put in there no white tint because if you think sunblock, you know, sometimes you don't always rub it in. You got that like le leftover white tint all over your face. It can be so embarrassing. Um, so I definitely like that they added that in there. Um, on the side, it says benefits a blue lotus. Blue Lotus is a powerful antioxidant known for its anti-inflammatory benefits. Oh, cool. White tea soothes sensitive skin. Soy protein keeps skin soft and supple. Algae extracts helps retain moisture. Uh, vitamin E prevents premature aging and improves skin texture. It's supposed to be non-greasy and non-whitening formula provides the perfect base for makeup. So that is awesome all right let's see what the bottle looks like oh that's cute it definitely has the blue lotuses on there um i kind of want to see what if it's true all right so it smells like hmm all right so it comes out white doesn't really smell like anything. Let's see if it doesn't feel greasy. Okay, now that it's on my hand, I definitely still smell that sunscreen lotion kind of feel. I don't know if I will want to put this on my face if it stays. So we're gonna, yeah, I definitely smell the sunscreen. So we're gonna let that sit on my hand for just a minute. Um, and come back to it and see if it still smells. Okay, so for the next item, I have the Ahava Hydration Cream Mask. Now, I have received this product before. I received it in a FabFitFun box. Um, so I think this is awesome that it's in here. Super, super excited for this. I love face masks. I love anything that hydrates my skin because I am more on the dry side. Okay, so we have the Sueva Beauty Liquid Chrome Eliminating Drops. Look at that packaging. That is so pretty. I love it. Um, I don't think I've ever used liquid drop highlighters. Uh, <laughs> so this will definitely be my first. I've never purchased them because, um, you know, I didn't think I would like them. So I'm not going to purchase them. I'm more of a powder kind of highlight. Uh, so this is what the bottle looks like. Very fancy. I actually really like that. All right, we're gonna give this a test run. 
So there is the dropper. Oh, it's all over the dropper. Ooh, you, you don't even need the dropper because it's all over. Just. Oh, I put that right on top of that sunscreen. God dang it. Oh, well. Oh, that's really pretty. That is very, very pretty. Look at that. Can you tell? Oh, you can definitely tell where it's at. All right, I think I'm gonna add just a touch onto my cheek, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. This could go very wrong. See, just a drop. That bottle will last forever. What do you think? It almost kind of dimmed my highlight. Or maybe that's just me. Okay, so it's it's okay. I think I still definitely prefer my powder highlight um, compared to this. Is it pretty? Yeah. Will I wear it again? Probably not. I just think, I don't think it's as blinding as um, some of the other highlighters that I have. So that's that's kind of a miss for me okay so the next item we have i'm so excited for this you guys you know how i feel about brushes i have a brush set uh this is the farah be beautiful be you brush set look how gorgeous those brushes are oh they are so pretty all right let's open this up and see what they feel like I love it when I get brushes. I love, I love it when I get brushes. Okay, so oh, they're so pretty. Look at that. That is just so pretty. I love it. Um, okay, that definitely feels really nice. Oh, I like that uh, for inner corner highlight or maybe some brow bone action. Um, so that's a uh, this one was the blender. Oh, and it does have the names on there. This one says it's an angled brow brush, um, pencil brush. This one is the mini tapered brush, um, a mini shading brush. So that feels really, really nice. Um, and then also another can. A concealer brush but I'll definitely be using this brush on my lid with the eyeshadow uh, to pack on that color so these are really cute really pretty they feel really really nice so yeah I'm super excited to have these you guys oh my god I'm so excited okay this definitely makes my whole entire box worth it um, I'm super super excited about this this is the in the balm of your hand uh, greatest hits volume 2 eyeshadow palette from the balm yes <laughs> I love the balm eyeshadows I've gotten a couple in my Ipsy bags and I have loved every single one that I've gotten I've always wanted an eyeshadow palette I thought they were a little bit on the pricey side so I never really pulled the trigger on it so I'm so excited to have this and their packaging you guys the packaging is just so cute look at this so it shows the greatest hits of all their packaging on here oh I love it so open it up oh thank goodness okay I love it when the box is represents the actual palette itself so it has the same exact packaging on the outside and then it shows the shades on the back so oh my gosh I'm so excited it says who says you can't have it all the bomb <laughs> these colors are so gorgeous look at that oh they're so pretty so what do we have in here okay so we have five eyeshadows we have a bronzer 
and three blushes. Okay, so that's like a complete palette. So obviously this one is the bronzer. These are your blushes, which the they're really pretty right up my alley. Definitely something I'll wear. And then those eyeshadow shades are just, oh, they're so gorgeous. I'm like in heaven right now. I want Okay, let's do some swatches. So let's swatch the bronzer and the blushes first. So this is what it looks like. Very pretty. Ooh, definitely got some kickback. Oh, those are gorgeous. And that bronzer is so pretty. <sighs> I'll definitely be able to use that. Oh, yes. A light coat, and I will definitely be able to use that. That's really, really pretty. All right, so let's swatch these shadows. They feel so good to the touch. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. <sighs> so pretty. Oh, yes. Give me life please. Look at that. So pretty. I cannot wait to use this palette. Very, very happy with this. I have been wanting an eyeshadow palette from the bomb and I finally got it. So very, very, very happy. If I haven't said it already, I'm very, very happy. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and do a total uh, of the products of how much they cost and see how much my box is so we have the balm cosmetics which is a $32 palette uh, we have the eye brushes which is $50 I, yeah. okay they felt really nice they're really pretty I don't see them being $50 I'm just saying right now uh, no uh, the hydration cream mask from Ahava is $33. I could see that. Uh, the illuminating liquid drops, $26. And the Pure Lease, uh moisturizer is $45. So that comes to a total of $186. Um, once again, my box is only $25. A month so uh, basically I got a hundred and sixty one dollars of product for free I would bring that down that price a little bit because there's no way I would pay fifty dollars for those brushes like it's just not gonna happen for fifty dollars you can get like a set of Sigma brushes and have something really really nice um, like I said I think they're pretty I think they're soft um, but the way that they feel it's not fifty dollars luxurious feeling I'm sorry it's just not uh, but let's go back over everything really fast so we have the balm eyeshadow palette which <sighs> makes the box for me this makes me happy very happy very very happy <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm gonna be able to say it in this video uh, we have the cream mask which is a really nice mask we have the liquid drops which I mean it was interesting to try uh, I've never used anything like this before so it was definitely something out of my comfort zone I do think it's pretty I just don't think it's for me I do like a little bit more of a in your face kind of highlight uh, so I'll probably pass this on to a friend um, and then we have the oops and then we have the pure Lease blue lotus daily moisturizer which yeah it smells like a sunblock so uh i probably won't be using this on my face and then last but not least we have the brushes like i said um really really pretty i love the way they look uh especially with the the handles they feel really soft but they do they kind of feel on the cheaper side um it just that's the way it is to me compared to my other brushes that I own. Um, I would definitely prefer even a ColourPop brush or um, my BH Cosmetic brushes versus this. So just, yeah, eh. Um, all in all, I would say this box is okay. Um, I mean, okay, <laughs> let me backtrack that. I love it because of this. Like, this makes me happy. This makes the whole box. But if you put it as a whole, um, I would say that 
it's not the best box that I've received. I definitely have loved, and I mean loved, my other boxes. I would say this is in the definitely okay, makes me kind of happy category. I'm not bummed. Um, I still think I got my money's worth. Even with if this was the only thing in there, the box was only $25. This was a 30, what, $32, $33 palette. So it paid for itself. Um, and basically I got a discount on a really good palette. So all right, so with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big ol' thumbs up for me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!